This train is hitting 375 miles per hour, but it has no wheels. It's not touching the track, and there is no engine. So the real question isn't how is it so fast? The question is, how is it moving at all? The levitation hack. The secret is a total physics hack. It's not floating. It's being violently repelled by the ground. It's called magnetic levitation. The train is a magnet. The track is a magnet. And we charge them to be the same pole. That unstoppable repulsive force lifts a hundred tons of steel four inches into the air, creating a cushion where friction is zero. The propulsion trick. But hovering is useless. You need thrust. And here's the beautiful part. There is no onboard engine. The engine is the track itself. Imagine taking a normal electric motor, cutting it open and stretching it for miles. The train becomes the moving part. By switching the magnetic field in the track thousands of times per second, we create a traveling magnetic wave. The train isn't being pushed. It's chasing an invisible point it can never catch, pulled forward by pure magnetism. The speed secret. Remove friction and you rewrite the rules of speed. No moving parts to wear out. No energy wasted as heat and noise. All power goes directly into acceleration. The only limits left, air and human comfort. This is why it's whisper quiet in a station, yet can outrun a sports car on the straight. So this is more than a fast train. This is a blueprint for the next century of motion. Hyperloop concepts? They use the same principle, but in a vacuum. The real barrier? Not the science. It's the cost of rebuilding the world beneath our feet. It proves the ultimate engineering lesson. To move forward fastest, sometimes you have to leave the ground completely.